Hello, this is Dylan of Manoa Chocolate. I want to talk about direct trade and fair trade. And fair trade is really nice in theory, but it has a lot of flaws. And so I wouldn't be as particular of selecting chocolate bars based on fair trade or, or any product at that matter, because in most cases, products that are coming from West Africa or Peru or Brazil, you're having somebody from, say, San Francisco who works for fair trade get paid a San Francisco rate to go down and certify a farmer in Brazil, in Bahia, and that farmer may get an extra $200 a ton for their beans, which is nothing. And that person in San Francisco is making a salary that they would need to live on in a first world country. So this is where some of the issues arise with concepts like fair trade. Direct trade, way better. I, as the chocolate maker, pay Ecuador farm direct through a wire transfer. I can talk to that farmer on WhatsApp and say, how's your ferments looking? Drying going well? When do you think the next batch is coming out? Great, I would like six tons or whatever we end up buying. But that is direct trade and it's way better for both parties because there's nobody in the middle. For fair trade, there's still the entire supply chain built in which we want to cut out the majority of that so that the farmer gets most of the money and the chocolate maker gets a better quality product. So that's direct trade, that's fair trade. In a nutshell, you can expand deeply into both of them, but that's why we feel direct trade is the answer to the 21st century's chocolate making, as well as any other product for that matter.